Narcissists, they're all over the place, right? In our families, our jobs, our friend groups, and even in our love lives. But what happens when you choose to leave a narcissist? What should you expect? Well, it's not as easy as just saying bye and going on with life. Nope, narcissists have a special way of dealing with being left. It's like watching a show happen with different parts, each one more exciting and tricky than the last one. Here, four stages narcissist goes through when you leave them. First off, they start acting like they are always the one being wronged. To be clear, we're not talking about someone who just had bad luck. No, we're talking about a person who is very good at tricking others, someone who loves to play the poor me game. They don't just act like a victim, they make it a part of their identity, always the one being wronged. When you part ways, they start making up stories. These aren't just small white lies, they are big, complex lies, all spun from their twisted view of the world. They don't see things the same way you or I do. They see a world that always treats them unfairly. In their world, they are the ones who are always being mistreated, while you are painted as the bad guy. They don't keep this story to themselves, they tell it to everybody, spreading it around like a sickness. This isn't just random gossip. It's a strategy to trick other people into feeling sorry for them. They want everyone to see them as the victim, to feel bad for them, to support them. And you, the true victim, are made to look like the bad guy. Why, you may ask? To make you feel lonely, to make you question what really happened, to make you feel guilty and sorry. It's a common trick people use to control others, and they are very good at it. So they've made you out to be the bad guy, but it doesn't stop there. This is just the start of their act, the opening scene of their drama. Hold on tight, everyone, because there's a lot more to come. Stage two, they play the jealousy game. Narcissists are experts at manipulation, and one of their most potent tricks is to try and incite jealousy in you. They know that jealousy is a powerful emotion, and they use it as a tool to keep you hooked, to keep you questioning your worth and value. When a narcissist feels threatened by the idea of you moving on, they resort to displaying their new relationships all over social media. They'll post pictures with their new partner, often looking happier than ever. Each photo, each status update, each comment is a calculated move. It's not because they're genuinely happy or in love, but rather it's a ploy to make you feel inadequate, to make you question yourself. You might find yourself asking, was I not enough? Or why do they look so happy with this new person? But here's the reality. It's all a performance. A narcissist's need for attention and validation is insatiable. They feed off your reactions, your hurt, your jealousy. It's their way of maintaining control and power. It's important to remember that a narcissist's actions are not a reflection of your worth. They're a reflection of their own insecurities and fear. They fear being alone, being unimportant, being unloved. So they create this illusion of happiness to make themselves feel better and to make you feel worse. But here's the truth. You are enough. You always were. Their inability to see your worth doesn't diminish your value. It's their loss, not yours. So when you see those pictures, those updates, remember that it's not about you. It's about them and their relentless pursuit of validation. They want to hurt you, but it's not over yet. The narcissist's game is a long one filled with twists and turns. But remember, you hold the power to stop playing. You hold the power to reclaim your worth and your happiness. The narcissist may play the jealousy game, but you don't have to be a player. Stage three, they start hoovering. Now, we're not talking about vacuuming the living room carpet here. No, this is a different kind of hoovering. It's a term used to describe how a narcissist tries to suck you back into their world just when you thought you were finally free. You see, narcissists can't stand the thought of you moving on, the idea of you breaking free, spreading your wings and soaring into a life of happiness without them. It's like a bitter pill they refuse to swallow. They've kept you in their dark dungeon for so long they can't bear to see you escape and find the light. And so they hoover. They might send you a message, seemingly out of nowhere. It will be cryptic designed to pique your curiosity, to provoke a response. It could be something as innocent as a, hey, how are you, or a remember when we... The message isn't important. What is important is the intention behind it. They want a response, they want engagement, they want to reel you back in. They might even try to convince you that they've changed. They'll promise you the moon and the stars, swearing that this time will be different. 
But remember, a leopard doesn't change its spots and a narcissist doesn't change their ways. It's a trap, a cunning ploy to pull you back into their web of manipulation and control. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to move on. They want you to suffer because in their distorted reality, your suffering is their power. They can't stand seeing you break free from their chains. They can't stand the thought of you moving on, of you finding happiness without them. So they hoover, they tug on those old heartstrings, hoping to pull you back into their world of chaos and control. But remember, you're stronger than their manipulation. You're smarter than their games. You're brighter than their darkness. They want to pull you back in, but we're not done. The last stage, they launch a massive smear campaign. This is where the narcissist's extreme rage comes into full view. It's a startling sight to witness their fury so intense it seems to consume them, and they direct it all towards you. Unable to control you directly, they turn their efforts towards manipulating how others perceive you. It's a calculated move, a chess game of sorts where your reputation is the pawn they're willing to sacrifice. They aim to control the narrative, to paint a picture of you that suits their distorted reality, and they'll stop at nothing to achieve this. The narcissist becomes a master storyteller, spinning tales woven with lies, each more elaborate than the last. These aren't just white lies, oh no, they're dark, malicious, designed with one purpose, to isolate you. Imagine a fortress, impenetrable, surrounded by a moat filled with the murky waters of deceit. That's what they're trying to build around you, a fortress of isolation. They want to cut you off from your social lifelines, your friends, your family. They want you alone, vulnerable and easier to control. And they don't stop there. Their goal is not just to isolate you, but to rally as many people as possible to their cause. They're building an army, an army of supporters who believe their lies, who sympathize with their plight, who see you as the villain in their tragic tale. It's a sophisticated strategy, one that requires a careful balance of charm and guile. They play the victim card expertly, eliciting sympathy, stirring up anger against you. They're actors on a stage playing their part to perfection, all in an attempt to taint your image, to tarnish your reputation. But remember this, the narcissist smear campaign is their final act of desperation. It's their last ditch effort to maintain control, to stay relevant in your life. It's indicative of their inability to let go, to accept that they no longer hold sway over you. They'll try to taint your image and that's the final blow they'll strike. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, give thumbs up. For more videos like this, hit subscribe button.